All right, my beautiful friends, it is Monday, April 29, 2019. Here's the story. This is what we need to look out for uh, right now, and I want to put a perspective on a few things here. As I am doing this video blog, stocks are higher. Not by much, but higher nonetheless. Okay, as you all know, you need to be looking at the bond market. The bond market right now is, although the yield curve is inverted, is stable. Stable yet inverted. Okay, nothing major going on there today. Gold and silver, especially silver, are under pressure, and cryptocurrencies are under a little bit of pressure as well. Um, to me, the way this market is trading, it appears that there's a little bit of uncertainty here. Now, I'm not changing my stance from yesterday. I explained to you in my markets a look ahead segment that I believe markets are going higher. I still believe that. However, we got the Fed this week. Uh, I did forget to mention this yesterday. Um, in my view, the Fed is going to maintain its stance that everything is looking perfect. Our economy is firing on all cylinders, um, but they're gonna—they're not going to do anything, anything whatsoever with regard to a rate cut or a rate hike. They're going to keep everything the same. Our, our economy is booming; it's super strong. Don't look at the money velocity, but you know we can't raise rates. There's no inflation, by the way. This is going to be the narrative. No inflation. No inflation. No inflation. They don't want you to understand what's happening around you. You're not being allowed to know the truth. You know that. It's all a distraction. And look, you have to understand this too, and I covered this yesterday in a little bit. You and I both are living in the past, all right? Our futures or what we're seeing around us, this is not in real time for those that run this entire show. And I explain to you, there is a literally invisible force. It's, you can't find it online, and if you do, it will be whitewashed. Um, I'm not even gonna talk about this, but understand that you and I are living in the past. Everything is being decided for us ahead of time. This is not real time. And this is how they maintain control not just over the markets, but over every single facet, every single thing you can imagine, and things you can't even imagine is the truth. Um, without going off on a tangent here, this is what we're going to see. More talk of no inflation. More promises of easy money. More calls for quantitative easing from the president. More calls for rate cuts. This is all a mechanism to force cash into the stock market, to cause malinvestments. What I mean is to literally push cash into assets which should not be going into and away from things that should be going into, causing distortions across the spectrum across the entire spectrum of asset classes. This is not going to stop. This is being done by design. Every world leader, including the President of the United States, is playing the game right now. It's a dangerous game, but we all know that. Look, how do I put this another way? Um, the system we are in is absolutely toxic. and. Nobody wants to fix it. Could it actually be fixed? I think we're, we're beyond that point right now. However, could they lessen the pain? Of course they could. All they would need to do, and I've covered this at length and I will not do it again here, is issue a gold-backed currency. Revalue gold 10 times higher, back the currency with a fraction of that gold. It will not be done, not in your lifetime. Understand. The system is so corrupted, it is so twisted, that the powers that be here will not give up. 
their power by allowing a commodity-backed currency. Their sole existence depends on their ability to issue their product. Debt. That is it. This is why you you under, you have to understand that I know there are people in La La Land that believe that there's going to be a gold-backed currency. Oh yeah, or some kind of a combination of something. No, it ain't happening. I was in that box at one point too. I was like, you know what? Maybe there's going to be a, a basket of commodities that are going to be backing. No, we we understand that their power exists. The world central banks through another very dark uh, thing. It's a thing, okay? It's an, a completely invisible thing. They run the entire financial system. They run the entire world. It's the truth. Um, and they're invisible, absolutely invisible. It's incredible. Um, their power exists in one thing, and that is to issue debt in greater and greater amounts. They will not give up that power. They will cause death on an unimaginable scale among you and I, the human race, to maintain that power. The development of a two-tier society is well underway here. That means, sadly, millions upon millions of people are going to need to die. I know how crazy that sounds, but this is how they maintain power. And this is all that matters here. Um, to those that run the world. I have to understand that. And I, I think you get it. I really do. Right, with that said, um, <laughs> let's keep our eyes on this market. Listen for the clues. They're very simple. Promises of rate cuts. Promises of more easy money. Quantitative easing in a supposedly booming environment, which we do not have. Just look at the money velocity. Fake numbers fabricated numbers, things that you can't believe that they make up and they are fist feeding you, me, and everybody else and it's right from the top. Presidents, kings, queens, monarchs are puppets. Every single one of them. Maybe they have a different outlook before they sit in that pretty white house. When they get there, a whole new world is revealed to them. And they are told exactly what to do, when to do it. It's all scripted from the top down. And who's the last to know? The general population. That's the truth. And again, you and I are living in the past. They are way ahead of us. They've already decided what's going to happen. They've been doing this for thousands upon thousands of years. So stop thinking. Get out of the, I'm going to be saved by gold. President Trump is going to save me. The next president is going to save me, whoever it might be. No, save yourself and, and, and start understanding the way the world really works. With that said, I'll see you all at the end of the day.